Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with free horse racing tips for Newcastle racers on Thursday the 27th of June. Well, it was a very slight profitable day on Wednesday. We had, and I've forgotten already, we had the 11-4 or 2-1 to one, um, return favourite in the first leg. The second leg was a non-runner. The third... The third leg was uh, the nap of the day, the biggest prize, but I thought it ran a good race, but clearly it wasn't good enough. It came seventh, I think, in the end, paying out first five. It was 66 to one. I think it had to return 125, but I think it ran a better race than its prize, but it doesn't matter because it didn't give us a return. It would have been very nice if it had come third, but it had no chance of coming third. And then finally, we had on a session, which just about grabbed sixth place. I thought it would come in, not to win the race, but to come in the, at least the first three. Um, and then it didn't quite, it just stayed on in the end. Um, Orban was an easy winner. So let me get on to Thursday's selections. There's some very interesting ones, and I shall talk you through them. So originally, I've played a five, uh, sorry, I've placed a five pence each way lucky 15 and a 25 pence each way accumulator, this one bet comes to two pound. I don't want to get confusing, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to place the same bet again and not take the price. But don't click off just yet because I'm placing a second bet twice as well. So let me talk you through it. So, as I said, the first bet is a five pence each way, lucky 15, 25 pence each way accumulator, taking all the prices, and the horses are as follows. So we've got Brunch at 11 to 2 in the 10 past 4 at Newcastle, paying four places instead of three. This got an obvious chance. Um, it's a second favourite. It's by Michael Dodds, and I think it's got an extremely good chance. Um, form wise, and my expectation for it to come placed, it's the nap of the day for that reason. However, there are some more interesting selections at bigger prices, but this is the most obvious on form. To come at least placed. The second selection is Martins Brig at 10 to 1 in the 440 at Newcastle, paying five places instead of three. This selection is trained by D.W. Thompson. If, it, if his horses are fancy, they are normally at much shorter prices. I think he had a run out on the your oh, sorry, not on your weather. On the soft ground at Redcar, just to blow a, th a few cobwebs away, it can run well pretty fresh because it, it did um, at the beginning of the season after like a 55 day absence. I think it will go from the front and be hard to kick out the first five. Is it good enough to win? Well, we'll see at quarter five, but I think it's good enough to at least run a place, and I think 10 to 1 is a decent prize. Prize. Price. The next selection is the next best because it's one of the most interesting and it's Pearl Abbey at 20 to 1 in the 515 at Newcastle paying four places instead of three. Julie Camacho has got two in this race. She's got Brummel which is more fancied and this horse. Brummel for me is not consistent enough although could have been laid out for the race. I think Pearl Abbey has shown more on the all weather to be given an each way chance especially first four. So Pearl Abbey at 20 to 1 in the quarter past five at Newcastle, paying four places instead of three. And then the next race, there are several I could have tipped at big prices. So the horse I've gone for, which is one of two horses. So I am recommending two comp well, four five pence each way look fifteens. Two five pence each way look fifteens with the same horses. But then after this bet, what I'm going to do is I am going to remove Cuban Fiesta from this bet and show you the other selection. So, as I said, Cuban Fiesta at 18 to 1 in the 550 at Newcastle, paying four places instead of three. I think it's got a decent chance on the all weather, on its all weather form. Um, it's got Safi Osborne riding for Ed Dunlop. Ed Dunlop, if I'm being honest, does pretty well when he goes up north with his, with his selections. He's not going for no reason. Uh, especially the Paul Turner colours tend to do fairly well, in my opinion, up north. So what I'm also going to do is, so I'm going to click on reuse selections. Because obviously I'm, I've got to place the bet again. All at SP.
So it's a, in fact, sorry, apologies, you can't actually see this. So basically what I'm doing now is I've placed, a, I'm placing a five pence each way, lucky 15. I've just typed in a 25 pence <laughs> I'm having a nightmare, Martin. This is so. I shall show you a very shortly. I've clicked SP on all the selections, so we haven't taken any prices. And once again, it's another two pound bet. And just to prove it, there you go. Five pence each way. Lucky fifteen. Not taking any prices. And I've also done the. That bit there look 25 pence each way so what i'm going to do i'm going to select them all again reuse selections selections i'm going to delete cuban fiesta and then i'm going to go to the 550 and do exactly the same again but this time i'm going to select the other selection and it is see that also there that's that titanium that i picked the other day but i can't back it at 94. Duke of sorry Duke Wellington, twelve to one. So as you're well aware, so I'm placing a five pence each way. Lucky fifteen. I'm taking all the prices on this first bet. I'm just clicking now and typing in twenty five pence each way. Cumator. It's a two pound bet. Placing bet. I shall show you the bet in a minute. I'm gonna click reuse selections. I'm removing all the prices. I'm placing another five pence each way, lucky 15, 25 pence accumulator, placing the bet again. No prices taken. I'm going to show you what I've done just here. Click on my bets. So there you go. So I'm not going to go through all of it, but there you can see Duke of Wellington included in, in the bet. So I've done the exact same bet twice. So five pence each way, lucky 15, brunch, Martins Brig, Pearl Abbey, Cuban Fiesta. Place the bet again without taking the prices. Get rid of Cuban Fiesta. Place Duke Wellington in the bet again. Do exactly the same again. Take all the prices in a five pence each way, lucky 15, 25 pence each way, Cubator. Place the bet. Add selections again. Remove the prices. Same stake again. Submit. Comes to eight pound in total. I probably made a complete mess of this. I hope you all understand if you do follow me word for word. So if you like what I've done, if you don't like what I've done, if you like, if you fancy something in, in another race, let me know. But I do like the look of these selections. So the very best of luck. Charlie Winters over and out. Cheers, mate.